Hey y'all, it's Michael. So this is gonna be the last part of my series of books that I would recommend to myself. So for this part, I was thinking of looking into the future. Um, basically, I picked three books that I feel as though within the next 10 years, I would need to accomplish. So I'm giving myself a 10 year goal, which is wild when you think about it. And I have some lessons and stuff to talk about. There are pro in this one, there probably ain't gonna be no pictures because I can't look into the future like Miss Cleo this part i feel as though is also important um looking into the future and trying to ba basically better myself and so that's what i thought this portion of that's why there's four parts and that's why i thought this would be very important and the wind is blowing like usual so the first one that i want to um read essentially uh, i put down here the bible um so uh, i feel as though i am not spiritually connected as i should be i kind of want to be more i want to basically go through the whole bible and read it uh not only for um faith purposes but also for literature purposes because as a reader i want to be more informed with the bible because a lot of especially classics have so many references and allusions to the bible and i feel as though i need to read it more so i can be more familiar next one I attempted this before, but I never finished it. And I put on here Swan's Way by Marcel Proust. Proust? Proust? Marcel Swan's Way. Um, basically, In Search of Lost Time, the whole thing. Um, I attempted this before, and I don't think I was ready. And I don't know if... I don't know if I'll ever be, to be honest. But this is a book I feel as though I really want to read within the next 10 years for sure when i don't know but i know it's going to be one of those like investments and i think it's going to be one of those like huge accomplishments um for me personally with my reading um i don't know i feel like as though it's it's time um yeah i feel like it's time that's all i can say about it i feel like it's time the last one on here i put um i also attempted before um i never got in through it and i feel as though i should have and that's ulysses by james joyce this is such a pivotal novel in the canon and i feel as though I, I i really want to get to it the thing is also picking these three books were one of the most challenging parts because if you saw that video that i posted previously about the long girthy books i want to tackle those would have been also on here but i feel as though these three books really is like something like one of those accomplishments um and i don't want it to sound as though it's like one of those like check marks that you check as a reader but i also want it to be one of those check marks that you check as a reader the last two parts of this is um regarding about talking to myself and trying to be a better person in general um and one of the thing on here i put um is patience <laughs> when they say patience is a virtue oh my gosh patience is a virtue um and see this is a perfect moment to film this also because since it's about to rain you can see I, I don't know what it is. I love filming when it's raining. <laughs> and I think, let me tell you why. I think I love to film when it's raining is because when there's clouds. Oh my, okay, so the best time in my opinion to film is like a cloudy day. People say all the time that it's when it's sunny. No, you want to film when it's cloudy because when you think about it, clouds are basically like a, uh, a, a diffuser. So it diffuses the light and it makes everything looks so beautiful like your skin tone it, it flattens out the light so you just look really beautiful and i think i love to film when it's raining um because since it's always cloudy when it rains like this uh it's just so beautiful so that's why i'm filming that's why you see a lot of my videos when it's like outside when it's like about to rain or like cloud because i just love it but it's all golden hours but also one of my favorites um okay so one thing i wanted to put on here is about patience this is also a retrospective even though we're looking to the future i also want to look back um it's because i think one thing in my life that is forever that i think not even me personally i think that changed my whole family um is when my sister had my yell uh I love that girl so much. I love her so much. And can she be annoying? Yes. But let me tell you, every, everyone gets on my nerves. But, and I think she strikes me. First off, she's a Leo. So that explains so much. Yeah, she's a Leo. It explains so much. <laughs> patience on here because I think that is one thing. And while I don't think I'm at the level that I want to be with patience wise, especially, um, involving her not also because i love taking pictures of her oh my god she's such a cute child the best thing about like having a niece this is the best thing about being an uncle in general is that first off that's not your kid <laughs> okay 
Let, let's 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 put that off the bat. That's not your kid. Like, you can take responsibility when you want like you want to enjoy time with her, with them. But then also like you want to, here no, I don't want to babysit. Like I don't. Um, and I know, <laughs> she pushes my buttons all the time, and it's like a it's like a give and take. And I think she is teaching me to be more patient, patient and more kind. Um, just because like since she's a kid she's like learning all of these things and i think that's like one of the best things about having a kid um like a new kid in your family like she's the next generation um like she's she's born here in the u.s and um that's gonna be something so different from like my family like next generation um and she was born around the time when like to get real personal with y'all like my family was just such at a hard place oh my god like we're not getting to watch it was like such a hard place and seeing it at because as my grandma passed away and seeing it as a perspective of just like being on the outside and seeing how literally everyone in my family was dealing with it um it was a hard time i'm not gonna lie and she was like that ray of sunlight that i feel as though like <sighs> okay <laughs> that um was just so joyful and so just a joy just a joy <sighs> yeah they're experiencing things for the first time like you get to experiencing experience things in your the, like the first time like that wonderment that that joy that amusement that fun oh my god <sighs> yeah i love that little girl but yeah she can get on my nerves everybody knows she can get on my nerves <laughs> oh my she knows she gets on my nerves <laughs> but i still love her so much so yeah anyways Okay, the last thing on here that I want to do more into the future, um, and I would tell myself, like, Michael, do this. I put on here more outgoing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, as you know, I don't know if y'all know, but um, I am a real homebody. I love being at home. I love being by myself. And I think that's fun. I think that is fine. That is great. I, I enjoy me. I feel like I... I am the best company of myself. But I feel as though I need to be more outgoing, like be more like willing to get out the house because there are fun things outside the house, Michael. <laughs> there are more fun things outside to do outside the house. Just like meet new people and whatnot. Like don't be don't be scared. Like you're a great person. And I feel as though like this is one thing I want to do more within the next um ten years is to definitely just be more outgoing and put yourself out there, man. Put yourself out there. So the last part of here is I want to turn this into a tag. I tag each and every booktuber to do this. Um I would I would recommend recommend to pick a, like a pivotal like birth date, you know, like pick or like just a, that moment of reflection, that moment of you feel like wow, things are changing. And I think this tag is great because I don't know if anyone else has ever done it. I'm going to look it up. Um but yeah, recommend books to yourself. It doesn't have to be elaborate like I do with all the pictures, the videos, all of that jazz, like moving pictures and whatnot. You know, just make it easy. Um, I, I would love to see it. So yeah, I tag each and every booktuber, especially if like you're the older ones. Oh, I would love to hear those stories. And you know, get real personal with yourself. Like make this as an exercise to be like, I'm going to be truthful about um, looking back, seeing how you changed, seeing how far you've come. Um, I think that's important uh, because especially with the books, I think it can tell a lot of about people and like how they perceive books and characters and writing all of that but also see them as a person as a human being so yes i would tag y'all yo this this exercise was so much fun i'm not gonna lie this was so much fun to film um especially going back through like oh my god especially going back through like um all my photo oh my god y'all i had to dig through the photo albums to scan the pictures in here uh there are videos in my um youtube that that i've made that i like I always go back to like I have a favorite and I I always look back at them and it's such great like um that moment one of my favorite video I guess this is reminiscing uh one of my favorite moments is like one of my favorite videos I've ever done was um like in speaking of my L that video where um where my sister actually like gave birth I was like whoa you can actually find it in one of those reading vlogs which was awesome another video that I always enjoy when it was when Miss Universe um Philippines was announced about the mistake oh my god that was oh that was such a great video and then I think the other video that I always enjoy looking back on is um my favorite books of the year that I read type of videos oh those are so much fun um because I really love 
it's like a snapshot and seeing what I read that year. So yes, I tag y'all. Make sure you do it. Let me know on Twitter, Bookstagram. Oh, see, y'all, these emergency people, they are wild. <laughs> so yes, until then, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Like, yeah, tomorrow. Bye.